Hello and welcome back to my Craft the World Let's Play series, where in this episode we are starting a few minutes, a couple of minutes from where we left off in the last episode. I have done some um, monster wave preparations like fire rules and that's basically it. Um, I mined a lot of more coal down here and now I'm also mining iron over here. And um, look what I found. How convenient. <laughs> um, Right over here, I was mining some coal over here, and well, look what appeared. One of these strongholds or whatever it is. We will have to visit one of these someday. Um, I want to create steel, silver armor as we can, but um, well, really we need um, we need to get this monster wave out of the way first. So let's make some of those. Yes. Get that working. I think they should. Oh, there's more iron over here. Mm, yes, but I'll cut it here because they need to. Eh, they can make it. I was going to say they need to sleep, but I think they should be able to. Um, should be able to do it. They should be able to. Hopefully. I can't get through. They keep saying they can't get through here, but they really don't need a reason to get... Well, they don't need to get through, so I don't know what they're talking about. Um, so let's place this. Also, I'm building the roof up here. I think I'm going to move these, but I'm not 100% sure about that yet. Um, okay, they're done here. I can get that scaffolding back. And we completed silver working, which unlocks expert weaponry, which gives us... Silver sword, silver pickaxe, and silver axe, and wizard staff, and it also gives us shooting range. Um, shooting at moving targets provides better training, so it's better than the one that we currently have. The same with the the other one. And then we have silver arrows. What does they? What do they do? Silver arrows are the product of elven knowledge and are extraordinarily effective in combat. Hmm. We will have to try those out once we have enough steel. First off, I want to concentrate on the steel armor for our dwarves, and then after that, we can then concentrate on the steel weapons and stuff like that. As it does sound really, really cool. Um, let's put this here, and then I need to make sure that... Are they done over here? Not quite. We need to get all the way over here. There's a lot of iron here. I'll extend the portal time a bit. Are they done here? Yes, they're done here. Close that so no one goes through. And yeah, they're just gonna get the sign here. And there's another layer here. There's also this, but really we need to get everyone to rest. Um, what do we have here? It says four new things. Ah, here. Silver sword, so that, that does 35 damage, and our current steel sword does the damage of 25, so that's 10 extra damage. And the silver axe um, is 10 more in lumbering, and 20 more in mining is the pickaxe, and the wizard staff does the damage of 20. This staff allows its owner, a dwarf, to use prepared magic spell potions in battle. I'm not sure what that means, but we can actually make it. But I, uh, And I do want to make one of our dwarves a wizard at one point, but not right now. Right now we need to prepare for battle. And what do we have done here? Another cave system. Okay. Anyways, um, I think we are ready for the monster wave. I just need to see here one second. Um, yeah, okay. What's that? Hunter's book. I don't really use that that often. As you might know. Okay guys, that will do it I think. And we also need to finish the roof on the house, but I'll wait with that till the monster wave is actually over. Though I will put some more scaffoldings there. 
And what is our tasks? We need to complete stoneworking, we need to complete expert weaponry and advanced cooking. So we'll um, work on those. Now I need to equip these dwarves, not equip, but select these dwarves and um, see. So you can go to rest. Um, you are the archer, I think, aren't you? I'm not sure. Um, going to stockpile, go to sleep, go to sleep. Other than that, I think they're okay. Sleeping. I think we are. I think we are suited for this. Um, for this battle. Just need to see here. You guys really need to hold up. Um, pause session. I need to get these guys through the portal right away. So I'm going to unpause. Click pause. Oh, I cannot even make the horn spell. Oh well, that's bad. Nor can I make the portal. <laughs> um, okay, so our dwarves are actually going to be stuck on that side. I didn't think of that. Um, okay. Um, wow. And there are our archers, aren't they? I think they might be. Well, I guess they can if they could make it move all the way up here and then go in from behind. Oh, see? Our, our farm, we now have three sheep instead of just one. That's good. Okay. Where does it come? Where will it appear? I guess over here. My guess is over here. And I think those are our archers down here. Where, where is it? Here. I think it's our archers. One of them is our warrior. Not good. We only have a few over here. Once the portal opened, it opened to the to the left. Let's see what we get. And if it's going to be as easy as the other ones. Yeah, he's not that tough. He's a little bit tough, but not that tough. Mm, two is another thing. No big guys? Okay, we got a big guy. Oh, hold up. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, he's dangerous. He's very strong, actually. So let us make sure our archers have um, fire arrows equipped. Let's see, fire arrow and fire arrow, fire arrow. Hope for the best. Let's attack. Oh, that's two more. Oh man, we need, really need our guys over here. Fast. We might lose a dwarf in this battle. We might. Or not. Maybe. I think our dwarves can have it. They should be able to. They're strong. We just need to get rid of the big guys. We did it. It was close. Some of our dwarves is actually really um hurt. But we did it. Yay. Yay. What now? Oh. <laughs> You're a little late, buddies. Wait, where? Oh, three of them. Why are you going back down? Oh, stuff. Great. We survived it, surprisingly, as they had two axe guys, and I think the blue guy is called the Beholder. Let's take a look in our um in our notes here. So let's take all the way down here. Beholder, yeah, Beholder. Very dangerous, with their many eyes. These. Vigilant keepers of underground secrets can see everything in the darkness. Only strong armed dwarves can handle them. Well, I guess that means our dwarves are strong armed dwarves. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Let's um let's not do that right now. I need to focus on this and we also need to focus on what did we get here? Mechanical training dummy and we got an eyeball. Great. 
the eye of an unlucky monster used for magic elixirs yes indeed unlucky monster um while we are way ahead with the expert weaponry and almost that gold working hmm I didn't realize we were this close to the end of the tech tree. Wow. Um, yes, we need to finish um, basic stoneworking. So I'm just going to make another stoneworking area. So do that. And then just so we can complete it, it's not something that I really use that much, but um, we might in the future. Who knows? Let's then do this. And our guys should be on their way back. <laughs> no. Where are you going now? Oh, that. Well, at least they're cleaning up. At least. So they're finishing that table. We then need to equip this. Like so. And do that. There we go. And equip that. Or place that. And place that. Don't stand on the scaffolding just talking. <laughs> Let's get rid of it. There we go. Um, and place that. Very good. So far, so good. Great. More zombies attacking us. Wonderful. Okay, so let's take a look here at the tech tree. Um, apparently that... Oh, we needed the table. That's done. And yes, exactly what I was hoping for. Finally, expert constructing. At very last, we have expert construction. So let's see what we can make here. We can make the wooden towers. Which, the most basic defense tower, it shoots arrows and monsters automatically. Which is just amazing. And they're going for the zombies. Great. Um, we have square windows. Let's see, here they are. Square windows. And here we go. A simple window for lighting up a house. We can add those in here actually, which I really want to do. So, let's get the wood. Let's get the glass. And, oh, they're instant crafted. That's amazing. We need more glass though, so let's make that. Let's make 20. We need more of those. Um, tough backpack. Increases the number of items a dwarf can carry by two. So right now we have the first backpacks we made. We can upgrade the backpacks if we, um, if we make these. Or not upgrade the current backpacks they have, but upgrade their pack backpack, right? So we might want to do that. Um, we can make a metal chest, chest, a more durable chest that can hold useful items. I did not know that these could hold items. Interesting. I'm gonna make one of these and test it out. That's something new. For me, anyway. I don't know if it's new to the game. Let's see, what do we else have? We have flower bits. Decorative flowers next to the house. I'm gonna make some. <laughs> I want some. I think they look um I think they look nice. So and we have so much dirt I don't know what we are going to do with it. Let's make two of those. And let us also we have a spire. What does that do? The highest part of castle towers. Um I'm not going to make this as I don't really have a tower over here, but what I am going to make I think is maybe more another chest we need to make these definitely so let's make let's put nails in there we have wooden bows which is perfect we have oil we have everything actually they re do require steel but we have plenty of that too we don't have plenty of planks so that we need to um we need to make some of that and wood let's make two because my plans are to put one over here and put one over here i think I think that should work, maybe. So let's put a window here, and a window here, and then a window here, and a window here, and a window here. I think that's going to look nice. The only thing that is kind of bugging me is this wall here that should have been 
one more out but i guess it's fine for now anyway um we are currently making glass as well so that's good yeah it looks really really nice now this just has to update it looks nice i must say now should we place these i guess we should place them right by the door right like so i don't know if they actually add to the comfort level uh where is it i guess it should be in here somewhere um there uh no it doesn't add to the comfort level but that's fine we'll make it anyway and let's remove that scaffolding there we go let us also um well we need some more food on the tables for sure let's get rid of that and that for now and let's get the food out actually we should make some some of the new foods um is it foods or just food i'll have to i'll have to figure that out so if we look at advanced cooking did i say foods sorry food um if we take a look here we need the stone kitchen stove a simple stone stove so let's make that because that will allow us to make um more complicated or the newer recipes like bread buns and stuff like that and for that we actually do require these stone walls which is perfect i guess um and this i think should be complete once the do we have the chest we do have the chest we also have the wooden chest that can hold useful items we have one place down here right i don't know what it does but let's put a chest here and let's put another chest at the end of here no eh, there why not and i really think this should be more here yeah once he gets it back to the um stockpile we can actually do that so there we go place it there and is the cooking stove done where should that be that should be in here and i think i'll add that here maybe depending on the space we need and we should also make the um the better training things where are they there mechanical training dummy so for that we need a skull shield first and then after that we need oh we need planks so let's make a bunch of that but we should then be able to at least make the no because that requires planks great so we uh we need some planks before we can really continue and that is crafted and he just throws it on the ground great great work apparently he didn't want to carry it so apparently these chests cannot hold um items but just for decoration i guess that's fine they do look kind of nice so let's get rid of all this or let's harvest all this and make some flour so we can make bread and buns uh this is gonna take a while there we go that was all of it and get those nails too yes i wanted a torch down here actually so let's get where are my torches torchy there we go nope get in there and that would then be one, two, three, there. Good, and we have our stove here. Um, can it fit here? Wow, that's a very small stove. Let's remove the old one then and replace it with this one. That's a very small one. Wow, I didn't expect that. But we're crafting like crazy here. Everyone is working at their workstations. Cool. Um, so we cannot do that let's then remove cooking campfire and then place down the old one so we have them next to each other i think that should look okay so place the old one here and place the new one here there we go and then we can finally oh we're well, we not done with this yet but we have made glass right so 
Let's make three more of that. Yes, I was just waiting for it. So now we are at advanced decorating and advanced stone working and advanced cooking. Um, I think I'll order some of this new stuff. Let's just take a look here. We have a vase, we have a decorative shield, we have a barrel. Barrels are used to make and store strong drink, okay? And we also have potted palm. Decorations for inside and around the house that increases the comfort level. And interior door. An interior door that doesn't count as a shelter boundary. Hmm, interesting, if we ever needed that. But I don't think we do, not at the moment anyway, but we'll see. Um, we also, no, where did I come from? Yes, I wanted to make the flour. So to make flour we need the grains. And for the grains we need to do this. So let's just convert a lot of our wheat, most of it. Let's do it till 21 and then we can make even more flour. So let's do it like that. Yeah, there we go. 19, we'll need it. And then we can start making some of this stuff, which all require flowers, flour. I should also actually make um, grains for the actual round for the farm so here 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 and here we cannot place it in roots oh oh pause section you should not use fire rose on a snail <laughs> let's just uh let's let's just unselect that i forgot that Let's just, uh, let's not waste them. Um, as they are kind of, well, well, it's gone. Okay, I guess we could put an interior door here, right? Maybe? I don't know. So we're at a comfort level of 67%. And he's making flour. So we should now be able to order some of the new stuff once that gets there. But really what I came from was to actually put some food down, but I wanted to get some of the new stuff. So, um, I don't know how long it's going to take for him to make that. Oh, it's, he's just dropping it. No one's actually coming to pick it up. So that's not, that's not um, ideal, but that's fine. Um, I guess we can make a interior door for the farm, it's not the dice. Uh, we're also going to need some wood as well. But, but let's place down this interior door here, just to see how it looks. It doesn't actually show here, as far as I see. Someone come and pick it up, or place it. It's a very cool animation when it um, pops up like that. Who is going to bring me the door? No one. Apparently. Only green. Oh, he has it. Let's see how it looks. I don't know, I'm just testing stuff here. <laughs> I just want to see how it looks. Okay, it's getting installed. Not bad. And we can close it if we want to close it, and we can leave it open I'll leave it open um, one thing we wanted to I want to do two more things last things in this episode I wanted to um, put place these down and I think I will do it with this and you'll see what I mean in a second and we also wanted to make this so let's do dies like that steel and planks and i think i figured out how the crafting thing works so once you have crafted it the one th a thing used the crafting recipe before then from that time and onwards you should be able to just automatically put stuff in so let's do this do this that's what i think anyway i'm not 100 percent sure but that's 
what I think is going on. So let's do that. And there we go. Those have to be crafted. Now I'm thinking to add that there. And we need then to... Where's the scaffoldings? There we go. We need that. There we go. Let's do that. And let's do that. And place one there. Just because you can rotate blocks in a specific way that I want to rotate them in. So you'll see what I mean in just a second, once someone will actually go and place it. And he still hasn't got any of that out. Great. So we cannot order any of the new bread. Okay, so he's placing it. So and then place another one and you'll see what I mean in just a second if I can get it to work oh now they are getting the flower down so now we should be able to order some of the new stuff so let's get some bread cooking or baking actually and an egg let's make 12 of those let's get some buns here we go Let's order 15 of those. And we had pies as well, right? Yeah. Let's make that. So, apple pie. Uh, where's the apples? There we go. Water. Egg. Nope, that's... Oh. Come on. Oh man, I had everything in there. Egg. Coal. Water. Apple. Good. Let's make 20 of those and get those made so we have oh I thought you actually needed the new um, cooking stove in order to make it but I guess it's just more efficient than the old one um, okay so they are done and now if I click on it I can select its um, rotated position there and I want it to be that as it acts like a platform like that I don't know what is what's best that I think that actually from my perspective anyway from the way I see it looks better so let's get rid of those and let us then put up our towers there we go and that should on its own shoot down at enemies also so we don't have to each time attack the zombies that come here so I don't know, can we rotate it? No. It just, I think it rotates on its own. So, that should do it. Just like that should do it for this episode, I think. And now it's raining. I would like a test object, but I think we will have to wait. And see what's going to happen. Anyways, with that said and our food cooking in the background, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, remember to leave a like, comment and share it with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. And sadly, this guy is too far away. So we might have to shorten our defenses here to see it work. Anyways, hope you enjoyed and have a nice day. Bye bye.